Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to go through the new GitHub Copilot free option and really go from the very, very beginning because some people may find it intimidating, that they're not used to coding, they're not used to GitHub, and it really is so simple to go and create a GitHub account and then just leverage the GitHub Copilot free capability. So I thought I would walk through it on a brand new machine with an account that doesn't have a GitHub currently, so you can see every single step. Now, in terms of what you're actually getting when you go and get the Copilot free, what it's giving you basically is this ability to have, you can see it right here, 2000 code completions per month and then 50 chat messages per month. Now, if you are a hardcore developer, you're gonna go through that really, really quickly. But if you're just experimenting, got some little passion projects that you're working on, hey, that may actually last and get you what you need. And if you've never seen exactly what a chat completion is and what a, a chat message is, if we go and look right here, so what I can see is a code completion. Well, one option would be right here, you can see currently, I've just started to type in a comment, a function to multiple, multiply two past numbers and return the result. I should probably type that correctly. And if I just push enter at this point and wait a few seconds, notice it's giving me a suggestion. So this would be one of those 2000 code completions that I get per month. It would also be the same if I just started typing and then wait, and you can again see it's giving me this option for, hey, I could go and complete and I'm offering you this whole piece of code. So I get 2000 of those code completions. For the chat capability, there's different ways we can interact with this. You see at the top, I see the little chat option right here, and I can say, hey, I wanna open up the chat, and then I'll get a window, and I can just start interacting, asking it questions just by typing right here, down in the corner. So that would just be a chat interaction. It would also be a chat interaction if I select a bunch of code and I right click, and now we get these different things. Hey, can you explain it to me? Can you uh, review and comment? Can you generate docs? Those would also count. So those only get 50 of, so I'd wanna be a, a bit more careful with how I'm actually leveraging those. But those are just some of the capabilities you get. Okay, so how do we start using this for free? So step one is we need to go and create that GitHub account. And we just need an email address. We don't need a credit card or anything else. And I'm gonna do all of this on a brand new install of Windows 11. This would obviously work on other operating systems as well, but there's nothing set up. There's no account set up. And we're just gonna go through every single part of the steps. So I'm starting off, I'm actually over at github.com slash login. So we're just going to the login page of github.com. And what we're gonna say is, well, we are new to GitHub. So I want to go ahead and create an account. So we select that option. I just have to put in my email. So at this point, it's gonna be Bruce Wayne is gonna go and set up this account because Bruce wants to start using GitHub capabilities. And we'll call it Bruce the Bat, that may be taken. We'll, we'll find out pretty quick, but we'll say Bruce the Bat, and it's not available, so Bruce the Bat, um, Savtech, there we go, is available. So it does have to be unique, so you can play around and it'll tell you what's available and some variations on it. But again, all I need right now is an email address, I'm setting the password, hit continue, and now what it's gonna want to do is actually verify I have that. So firstly, it's gonna make sure I'm not some bot. So I can do a visual or audio puzzle. I'm just gonna do a visual. I just have to rotate the little shoe in this case. It could be a different object. So it matches the direction of the fingers that are pointing. So I think that's about right. So that's good. Now it's gonna redirect me and confirm the email address. So if I now jump over to my inbox, there we go, convenient. So I just need to type in this number into the verification. 
There we go. And the account has been created. I mean, that, that's literally all I have to do. And I can sign in with the username or I can use my email address and just type in the password that I just created. And I'm now signed in as that account. Now at this point, you'd probably wanna go and create a pass key, make sure you've got MFA on it, but I don't have to do any of that initially. And for our profile, if we just go up to the top right corner, we see a little icon. Again, you can customize all your profile. I've got videos on how to do that. But if I just click it, we can actually see there's an option right here for your co-pilot. And if I select that, and it's giving me the option to say, hey, yeah, uh, I will start using Copilot free. So I'll just say yes to that. And it's actually taking me into the GPT 4.0 base. You can change the model you want to use, but I could now start interacting and chatting away. Also, it would have sent me a nice little email giving me some things to get started. It's confirming Hey, those free details, so the 2,000 code completions, the 50 Copilot chat messages, the ability to change the model. So it's given me information on how to get started with that. But I now have GitHub Copilot free. And again, I could start interacting. If you have other things within your repository, normally what you'll see is beside the search box, you would actually see options to interact with the copilot. So see, here's my search box up at the top. Well, if you click this little GitHub copilot icon right here, you can open up kind of an immersive, you can open with different editors and things like that. But I am now signed up for GitHub copilot free. So now I wanna use it with VS Code. So you need to go and download VS Code. So I can just go to code.visualstudio.com slash download. If I'm on Windows, obviously I could also just use the marketplace and I could just search for VS Code. There it is. And I can just install. Now you want VS Code version 1.96.1 or above because that has the integrated GitHub Copilot free awareness. So if you've already got VS Code installed, just go and check for updates. You can very easily just go to help and select check for updates and then update if you need to, restart, and you will be good to go. So we're just gonna let this installation finish. So it's now installed. I'll just close that down. It's now on my recommended. So I'm just gonna open that up. And notice it's actually telling me, hey, get started with VS Code. Use AI features with Copilot for free. It's telling me, hey, you can go and sign up. It's giving me a bunch of things I need to do to get started. I don't have to do all of that. I can just go ahead and close this tab down. I can just click the little X to close this. Although it is nice to go and set these things up. And we can see in that top right corner, we have our little GitHub Copilot icon right there. And it's telling us, hey, we can use the AI features for Copilot for free. And we can actually just select that. And hey, it is your AI pair programmer. And it's just telling us to sign in. So now we just click sign in to use Copilot for free. Now, the other thing you absolutely could do is in my extensions over here, if we go and look, when well, I don't have anything installed, there is actually a, a GitHub Copilot extension available in the marketplace. So I can actually go and install that as well. But I'm just gonna select the sign in to use Copilot for free. I've already signed in in my browser. So it's just saying, hey, do you want to authorize VS Code to use my account? So I'm just gonna say, yep, I want to go ahead and continue. I'm gonna authorize the window. I'm gonna yes, let it open VS Code so it can complete that sign-in. And now it's gonna complete that sign-in. It's gonna see, actually I've already signed up for that free offer anyway. And we are now good to go. So we have that chat window open. We can close it anytime, just click in the X. Again, we can open it anytime very easily via the little drop-down and say open chat. 
Again, we get those co-completions, but you are now ready to go ahead and start leveraging it. And you can see it's actually got a nice little walkthrough of next steps for you to actually try out uh, to help give you that information about everything uh, you're actually doing. But now if we actually just go and wipe those extensions out again, we can actually see it automatically installed the GitHub Copilot chat and the GitHub Copilot extension for you just by clicking those icons. So in VS Code, it's really nice. It also would have signed you in. So on your accounts now, you can see you are signed in with your GitHub accounts and uh, you are good to go. So that was it. Um, I have another video that's kind of your first hour with GitHub Copilot. So that might help you on some of the next steps to go and get even more um, engaged with it. Again, if you're just kind of a hobbyist and you need to do the odd bit of programming, this is fantastic um, as a completely free a little AI assistant. And obviously you can still take bits of code and go and paste it into just the, the regular copilot. It's like I could do it within the Windows integrated, I could go to the browser, but then it's not integrated with your IDE in the same way. But hey, if you run out of credits and you still wanna go and chat with something, you can just go and use the regular Microsoft copilot and it will still give you help. Hope that was useful. Uh, Till my next video, take care.